Okay, so um, as I showed in the previous video, I burned three sun gel fuel cans and they're all done. So I had seen some information on that we could actually reuse these sun gel fuel canisters. So I uh, saw some great videos online and I wanted to give go ahead and give it a shot. And so what they told me to do was buy some toilet paper, dollar store, four for a dollar, buy some isopropyl alcohol. Preferably you want 70 to 90 percent, but this is all I had was 50 percent. So it would be just going to be a great test to see if this 50 percent alcohol works well. And then they told me to take go ahead and take out the internal roll. See it? the paper part, and then squish it and stick it in the can. And I just did that. And then you're probably saying, oh yeah, well, maybe that's a waste of toilet paper. But, well, first of all, you're making a substitute um, gel fuel, which is, you know, on their own, they're between 3 and $5. And really, this toilet paper cost me $0.25, cents, and this cost me a dollar and I probably won't even need to use all of it so I figure I'm going to use about half of this so 50 cents 25 cents so for 75 cents I just created a new gel fuel substitute and then you say okay cool so what I did is I took out so you have to take this out squish it and put it in now now this is cool because now this can be reused in order to stuff the toilet paper in there I had to unroll a little bit of it um, and it fit perfectly so what I did was I unrolled what I unrolled I put into the tube <laughs> and now guess what this is yep it's now a fire starter right I'm gonna go put that with my collection so now for 75 cents I'm about to have a gel fuel substitute um, with alcohol and toilet paper I just wanted to show that and oh also I bought some hand sanitizer here and what I did with that was I poured that in one of these also. Here we go. I poured that. It's another substitute. You could either use hand sanitizer or toilet paper and alcohol. So this is one way. This is one way right here. All right, this is one way to create a substitute. And this is another way, simply by pouring the stuff in here. So, and I this filled up a 13, by the way, these are 13 ounce canisters. I need another one to fill it. And you're not supposed to completely fill it. You have to leave a little bit of space at the top. So, But check it out. I put it in and it looks just like the original gel fuel and that was just hand sanitizer. So later on in the other video will show um, uh, us burning these to see how they burn. I want to compare them to the sun gel to see how um, what the difference is. I'm not expecting it to be as warm and powerful but hey if it still brings up the temperature five seven degrees even ten that'd be great the sun gel fuel um they brought that brought up the temperature on my deck here by 16 degrees so i expect some success out of this and that'll be another video but thank you for watching and go ahead and um, go create your own sun gel substitutes for 75 cents oh and this cost a dollar a dollar store. so this one was a dollar Actually, I'm going to need a second. That's $2, and this is $0.75, cents, so we'll see which one burns better.